Radio Raheem here with Andre Berto, man. He's back in action. You know, obviously the Mayweather fight didn't end like you would have liked it to, but there was a huge payday. You know, uh, people thought after that you might just cash out the game. Like, yeah. you know, that was enough for you. Why do you feel like you still need to step in the ring? What do you have left to prove? I mean, I think yeah, I think this right here is a fight that um, you know that the fans won and it's a fight that I definitely won as well. So um, I think it's still you know a lot that we can do and it's a lot that we can prove in the game still. You know, Victor Ortiz has talked a lot about. Your, the relationship between you two. He says he's all good, but you're still mad at him. You have these interactions that are tense. Nothing. Like he just. I don't have nothing personal with Victor, man. I just, I just, you know. I guess I just say hi and bye. But I guess I don't know. He thinks we're supposed to, you know, go and you know hang out, hug, kiss, or something. I don't, I don't know. But that's not the situation. I mean, this is being billed as a grudge match, considering how explosive the first match was. Yeah. That's obvious. But how how do you feel about it? Does the does the loss still linger with you? Yeah, I believe um, you know with any athlete, with any fighter, you know they have a loss. Um, or they definitely want to avenge it. I mean, it's just how I am. So um, you know, so like I said, you know, I mean, that's why we made it happen. You know, we dialed in, and, and we're looking forward to we're looking forward to this next one. You've had a long career already, you know, uh, you've done a lot in the sport, but do you feel like you have had that defining moment yet, the thing that's going to stamp Andre Berto in history? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. I think um, I think it's probably soon to come. I think it's soon to come. I think, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling healthy. And I haven't been in, in some time, um, you know. You know, I didn't know the thing with this fight game, man, just one good fighter. Uh, you know, put you right, you know, where you need to be. So, so you know, like I said, you know, all focus is on Saturday night. Well, you know the fight game. So you're you're, you're writing this final chapter. I don't know how long the chapter is going to be, but we know this is the last one. So given your druthers, perfect world, how would it go? Play it out for us. Right now, focus is Saturday. That's it. You know what I mean? That's, uh, that's where all the focus is. And I believe, um, you know, from this, you know, we'll be able to move through, you know what I mean, any other situation. It's been five years since you and Ortiz stepped in the ring. A lot has happened in that time. You've both faced Mayweather. Like, what's the difference between the two of you then and now? Um, I think with me, um, um, I believe with me, I've definitely matured. Um, I think, I think at the same time, you know, after you know me coming back from the surgery, I've stayed active. Um, you know, and people have seen a little bits and pieces. You know, of things that have changed, of just me just growing just as a fighter. And, um, and we're going to take it all in Saturday night. But the uh, thing with him, I'm not sure. And I haven't really kept, I'm not sure. I haven't really, you know, kept track of what he's been doing. Um, you know, we know he took some time off for a while doing movies and things like that. And, um, you know, he fought, I guess, some guys coming back. I don't know if they're journeymen or, you know, guys that were, you know, 20, you know, 20 losses or some shit like that. I'm not sure. But, but just, um, but you, you know, just with me, man, you know, come back from my surgery, I came back, you know, fought, you know, fought a guy with, you know, only two losses. And I came back and fought Josito and I stopped him and, um, you know, came back for the Mayweather fight. So now we're here. And I'm about to let you climb in the ring. So let me get one more in there. You know, they say that boxing is mostly mental. Yeah, Obviously, sure. it's physical, too. Sure. You've come through your challenges on yeah. both sides. Yeah. You, it's obviously an irritant. You had a, a drug test that, that failed, and people don't stop talking about it. I know nobody likes to have that brought back up, but when it comes to what you need to do to prove, if not just to the fans, but to the critics, that Andre Berto is clean, Andre Berto is for real, what do you feel like it requires, and how much of that occupy space in your brain that does occupy no space in my brain i mean um you know for the middle of the fight we done you saw the testing for this fight we did you saw the testing so um yeah i'm a clean fighter and just the fact with me is you know just like i said before just even then when when they say i had a failed test um i believe it was a mistake on their end and and we cleared it up within three months um in, you know whatever the situation you know that they said it was and I was back in the ring after five months and and after you if you have a real failed test you're you're suspended I believe for a mandatory for a year so so I don't let it linger on with me at all and I just come here and just handle my business what I got to do 
a lot of that had to do with recovery. How difficult is it now later in your career to recover and then yeah. get up for fights like this yeah. so you know we're going to be beast wars? Yeah, I mean, I mean, like that was just the main thing, man. I believe, uh, you know, I went through a lot, you know, when it comes to, you know, a lot of my injuries and, you know, other things like that. But, but like I said, you have to be mentally ready for this. You know, you got to be mentally ready for this game. You know, if you're not, you know, you're just going to hang it up. But uh, I believe that everybody that knows me and knows that even if I'm, you know, in the ring, you know, I don't know what give up means. So, you know, so I stay focused and, you know, I mean, that's where I'm at right now. And I'm going I'm to continue. I'm going to continue chopping down everybody in front of me to go ahead and make their name. That's it. That's what you do in this boxing game. You don't really talk. You just go in there and handle your business. When, they, when you do hang them up, if they could say one thing about you, they had one line to write, what would you want it to be about Andre Berto? Uh, I'm the... I'm the meaning of what persistence is, for sure. Radio Raheem, looking forward to seeing you persistent on Appreciate Saturday it. night it. with Andre Berto.